Hello, this is Riyas. I'm a solutions architect with Rescale. And today we are going to go through the steps to run an ANSYS mechanical job in batch. So let's get started. The workflow is very streamlined. So you have an input file. In this case, it's going to be a .dat file. And then uh, we have to choose the software, which is going to be ANSYS mechanical. We pick the hardware and that's pretty much it. We are ready to run the job. So before we get started, I usually like to give my job a name. So I'm going to call it ANSYS mechanical demo. If you have input files on your local computer, you can upload from there. For this demonstration, I'm going to be using files on my cloud storage. So I'm going to be searching for a .dat file and I'm going to be using this. So with that, the next step is to pick the software, which is going to be ANSYS Mechanical. So once the software is picked, um, you can also choose the version that you want. And you notice that the command prompt is automatically populated. Uh, in terms of the licensing, if you have your own license, you can use that to run the simulation. For this demonstration, I'm going to be using the Rescale trial license. So I pick that. The next step is to choose the hardware. Uh, for this demonstration, I'm going to be using the Onyx code type and I'm going to be running on two cores. Post processing is purely optional. So we are going to be skipping for this demonstration. And with that, we are ready to launch this job. Once you launch a job, uh, the platform goes through four different steps. The first is to validate the input. Make sure that we have the right input file, the license, as well as the budget to run the job. Once we that step is uh, passed, the next step is to stand up a cluster based on the hardware that you requested. And once the hardware is up and running, we run the job. And after that, uh, once the job is done, we are going to tear down the cluster. So this process usually takes about a few minutes depending on the size of the file. Um, so this uh, job typically takes a few minutes and since it was only a small job, this was done in less than 10 minutes. Um, so with that, we come to the end of this demonstration. Thanks for watching.